made the rule that toolboxes can only be used for screwdrivers and hammers and pipe wrenches. I have been upcycling toolboxes forever. I mean, look at the character. Look at all the details. Look at the texture. You can't find this in a new toolbox. Just start with an old metal toolbox or tackle box that you find at a garage sale, flea market, or an antique shop, or maybe in your own basement. This one was actually um, a, a funky green color and it had spray paint on it. It had just, it had all kinds of spatters and oil and grease. So we cleaned it up really well. I put, I put a bonding agent on this so that my paint would really stick. I use Fusion Mineral Paint Ultra Grip as my bonding agent. You must apply a very, very thin coat, brushing it out until the finish is almost tacky. Let it sit for 24 hours and then you can go ahead and paint. Next, I apply my finished coat of Fusion Mineral Paint. I chose raw silk for this project. Apply as many coats as you need for complete coverage. So, um, here we go. I save every bit of every transfer possible. So I'm gonna let this one sit a bit. I put my last coat of paint on it not too long ago. Oh, look what's in here. All of my IOD tools. Look at that. There's my brayer, my ink, everything is in here. How convenient. There's some ink. Look at that. Isn't that such a great way to store all of your IOD goodies? For these projects, I have chosen the Wander Decor Transfer from Iron Orchid Designs. I love to cut up the transfer, selecting pieces and parts for each toolbox that I can arrange and layer for a very customized look. As you apply each piece of transfer, burnish or rub them thoroughly so that they are completely adhered, really stuck, especially in areas where there are grooves or a change in texture on the toolbox. On this particular piece, I gouged a little bit of the transfer. So no worries, I can just layer another piece over top of it. I often use the carrier paper or the backing sheet of the transfer pieces to completely burnish them when I'm done. I really want to make sure that they are stuck in place. that down make sure that it is well adhered that's good for me for a final step seal with a matte polycrylic sealer i'm using fusion tough coat apply my sealer over this entire thing a nice thin coat And as long as my transfers 
are stuck right down as long as you burnish them appropriately they should not lift off of here and then what this um, polycrylic does is it seals them right into place onto the surface of the box I'm still using the Wander Decor Transfer for my next toolbox. Among the floral designs in the Wander Transfer are some really pretty line art drawings of roses. That's what I'm gonna cut out and use for my design. And just like before, I'm going to lay out my transfer parts onto the toolbox to get a really pleasing design. Trim where I need to and apply them using the same method as before. These transfers are incredible. The way that Josie and Sally designed them on their own, right out of the package, they're just beautiful. But I love taking them apart and cutting them up, creating my own designs. It just opens up a whole new world of possibilities. These are some lettering pieces and parts that came from the transfer label ephemera. Cute as that. This is adorable. You can even lightly sand over your transfers to age them just a bit. Seriously, how cute are these? If you find toolboxes that aren't taken over by the favorite carpenter in your life, snatch them up and make them pretty. Then use them to store your own tools, your IOD tools, your watercolor tools, your crafting supplies, even your makeup. With a few simple supplies like your paint and bits and pieces of leftover IOD transfers, you can create the same look. We have everything you need at ellenjgoods.com or at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York.